This is one of those problems that looks complicated, but if we go ahead and model the situation correctly and we look at the solution, it ends up being very, very simple. And a lot of things that we don't know will simply cancel. But let's just dig in and see how this all evolves. What we're going to do is we're going to just start doing some calculations. And we're just going to keep moving ahead, not worrying about the things that we don't know. And hopefully they'll cancel. And in fact, they will. Now check this out. The question is basically asking this. How much does a person's center of gravity rise up when the person raises his arms over his head? We're going to start by recalling our basic equation for the position of the center of gravity. Well, the position of the center of gravity is equal to y1 times m1 plus y2 times m2 plus y3 times m3, etc., 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 divided by m1 plus m2 plus m3 plus etc., etc. So what we need to do is we need to take a person's body and represent it as different pieces, all of which have known masses and known positions, okay? And we're going to do that, and we're going to take the person's body and, and break it into two pieces. One is the two arms, and two is everything else. So a person's body is going to look like this. First off, I have the person's body, which I'm just going to write as a rectangle, and I'm a very, very poor artist, so that's, that's good that I can represent it so simply. And the person's body has a center of gravity, which is a distance I'm going to call y sub body above the ground. Okay? Secondly, the person has two arms, and I'm going to draw them really simply like this, like two cylinders connected to the, to the side of the body like so. And the center of gravity is in the center of the cylinders because they're uniform. And I'm going to say they start out with a center of gravity that is y sub arm above the ground. Now, the body has a mass of 63 kilograms, okay, because that's 70 kilograms minus the mass of two arms. Each one of the arms has a mass of 3.5 kilograms, okay? So we have 63 kilograms at a certain distance above the ground plus 3.5 kilograms of distance y sub body above the ground, 3.5, I'm sorry, y sub arm above the ground, 3.5 kilograms of distance y sub arm above the ground. And we could take those and we could put those in this expression. And this is how the person starts. So our starting position, y center of gravity with the arms down, is just equal to y sub body, the, the position of the body's center of gravity, times the mass of the body, which is 63 kilograms, plus, and this is y2 times m2, that's the y position of one arm, times 3.5 kilograms, plus the y position of the second arm, times 3.5 kilograms, and that's it. Those are our three pieces. This is all divided by m1 plus m2 plus m3. Well, that's just the total mass of the person, so that's just 70 kilograms. Okay, the person goes from here to here. The arms are now raised up over the person's head. And I'll apologize for my artistic rendering here. Okay, the arms have moved up like so. Now, really, what's changed? Well, the arms started here. Okay, and they raise up to here. The arm started a distance y sub arm above the ground. They finish with the center of gravity of the arms raised by this distance. Now, what is this distance? Well, the center of gravity is in the center of the arm, and the arm pivots around the shoulder, ends up like this. The amount that they've raised is just equal to the length of the arm, because this is one half the length of the arm. This is one half the length of the arm. And so from here to here, it's just the length of the arm. So this distance is 0 0.75 meters, which is 75 centimeters. And we're told to assume that the arm is a 75 centimeter long uniform cylinder. So that, that tells us we can write the y position of the center of gravity of the person's arms, of the person's body when the arms are up, is just this. It's y sub body times 63 kilograms 
because that hasn't changed, plus y sub arm plus 0 0.75 meters times 3.5 kilograms plus y sub arm plus 0 0.75 meters times 3.5 kilograms. This is all divided by 70 kilograms. So these are two extremely complicated expressions, and they have in them a bunch of stuff which we don't know. The y position of the body, that means the, the position of the center of gravity of the body. We, we don't know that. Y sub arm, that's the center of gravity of the arm. Um, the, it's y position. We don't know that. But what we're looking for is how much the person's center of gravity raises up. And so our solution is basically this. When we're looking to solve the problem, what we're actually trying to solve for is why CG up, the position of the center of gravity when the arms are up, minus the position of the center of gravity when the arms are down. So I'm going to take this expression and subtract this one from it. Now notice this, the two denominators are equal to each other, okay? So I'm just going to work with the numerators. And I'm going to scratch out terms. If I take this and subtract this from it, this is the same as this. And so these two terms cancel. Y arm times 3.5 kilograms appears in both places. And so that is going to go away. This will go away because it's going to be canceled with this. And so I'm going to get rid of y sub, this y sub arm term. Same thing here. y sub arm times 3.5 kilograms. y sub arm times 3.5 kilograms is going to go away. The only thing that doesn't go away is the 0.75 times the 3.5 kilograms. And so what I'm left with, when I take this and I subtract this, all that I'm left with is the following. I'm left with 0 0.75 meters times 3.5 kilograms plus 0 0.75 meters times 3.5 kilograms divided by 70 kilograms. And I can solve for that. And if I do that, I end up with 0 0.075 meters or 7.5 centimeters. Now let's do an assessment of this, okay? The person's arms, I have two arms, 3.5 kilograms apiece, total of 7 kilograms. That's 10% the mass of the person's body. So I take 10% of the mass of a person's body and I raise them by an amount of 75 centimeters. I raise their center of gravity by 75 centimeters. So it's reasonable to suspect that I'm going to raise the center of, of gravity of the person's entire body by just 10% of this amount. So 10% of the person's mass raises up by 75 centimeters. How much does it raise the center of gravity of the person's whole body? If I was just to guess, I would say I'm going to guess it's going to raise it by 7.5 centimeters. That's, in fact, exactly what we calculate. So we can say our answer reflects our understanding of the way the world works.